I'm going to build a giant netherite factory in hardcore Minecraft that has a bunch of really cool features like a super smelter, a production line, and at the end we'll build a ridiculously expensive netherite laser vault. My entire Minecraft net worth went into this vault, but let's get into it. This is the area where I'll be building the giant netherite factory. First, I'm going to have to remove all of the trees and then flatten out the entire area. And this factory will be really big, so I've got to make sure there'll be enough room. With that finished, we can sort of look ahead. Starting with phase one, we'll have to extract copious amounts of ancient debris from the nether, and we'll do this with a nether megamine. Then in phase two, we'll construct the netherite factory, and in phase three, we'll equip it with all the essential features and make it work. First, I'll build a temporary portal here so that I can get to the nether and get all the ancient debris I need. However, I was not prepared for what was away to come. I started off with the strip mining method, and even after mining 100 blocks, the results were not looking good. I literally haven't found a single piece, and I need thousands. So let's improvise. It turns out the best way of getting into debris is by exploding the nether. With TNT, of course. And for that, I'll need quite a lot of it. So for TNT, you need sand and gunpowder. Sand, very easy to get. Gunpowder, not so much. We can start off by upgrading my gunpowder form. Plus six hours of work there. And this was one of many AFK sessions I had to do. But I ended up getting quite a lot of gunpowder from that. And we could start with Project Ancient Debris. And it was gonna be extraordinarily painful. I literally spent tens of hours scouring for ancient ancient debris. Slowly and steadily, I was making some progress. However, randomly, the most unexpected thing happened. What? Bear in mind, the maximum amount of ancient debris you can find in one spot is three. This is the craziest thing ever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An eight vein of ancient debris. I've never seen anything like this in my life. <laughs> that was totally legit. Great acting skills by me there. Oh, uh, I just fell in love. Oh, da, da, da. Hello, this is totally mentally stable me, and I have collected all the ancient debris and put it in a giant pile, which is right behind me. This giant pile, which is fully filled in, took me over 40 hours if you include AFK times. I could have literally made a 100 days movie collecting ancient debris edition. <laughs> now I have to remove all of this. This is gonna take a while. And we can now enter phase two, where we're gonna be building this mega factory. So first of all, I'm gonna build the outline for it. And of course I run out of brick, and I'm gonna need so much more. One of the methods that I could use to obtain brick is to collect a bunch of clay. That does take a while. However, I could give the mason rule to a villager, and they will sell me the bricks directly. For that, I'm gonna need a couple of stone cutters, and then I'm also gonna need a bunch of emeralds. I made my way over to the villager breeder, and it's time to give them some jobs. There we go, 10 bricks for one emerald. Ah, this is gonna cost me a lot of money. <laughs> They're coming to me with bricks already. They know exactly what I want. Ayo, they're trying to scam me. They're charging me four emeralds now. Supply and demand, I guess. And I am in demand. And I just craft the brick into bricks. And I also need granite. I honestly thought this day would never come, but clearly it is not as useless as we might have presumed. Before we continue building the factory, I might as well collect all the remaining resources. I need some black dye. Another warp block. And steal some hay bales from my village, because I have literally no wheat at my base. Now, I also need red bricks, and for that, you need nether wart and nether brick. I could get the nether brick just by smelting a bunch of netherrack. However, for the nether wart, you could say I've been growing a little plantation in my back garden. I, of course, need a lot more. So, I'm just gonna cover the rest of this water of soul sand and extend the plantation. finally get started with the building. First, I'm gonna build the majestic entrance. Then I'll add a little bit more curvature here. There we go. And then I'll start filling in the frame. Mamma mia, that's the framework finish. I don't know why I said that. I'm not even Italian. I just like the accent. And a massive shout out to Not Levi for helping me design this build because on my own, I can't even design a Minecraft toilet seat. But now I can start filling in these individual walls. I'm gonna use a good old trusty brick and some granite maybe. Oh, and I also have a window here. How can I land? I- No! I've legitimately been trying to land here for the past two minutes. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll add all the details later, but for now, I'm gonna fill all the rest of the sides. And then 
some of the more minor details. Wow, I didn't even realize how tall this factory was. But when I'm producing netherite, I don't want it to be raining on me. So I'm gonna build the roof. I'll start off with the lower decks over here. And for the roof, I really wanna make it nether themed. So I'm gonna use nether bricks and nether warp blocks, like so. observe the roof, you may notice that there are holes in it. And no, contrary to popular belief, this is not for ventilation. Those are going to be massive chimneys because factories are very eco-friendly and they need to give off all the bad stuff into the atmosphere. Those will be built out of bricks, mud bricks, and polished granite. Very interesting stuff. Now, this build is looking a little rough around the edges, so let's fix this up. And there we had it. I added a couple buttons. We have windows and a little bit of iron bars. Now, moving on to the fun stuff of building this entire interior. Over on the left-hand side, we're going to have the extraction and storage facilities. Then moving over to the second section, we'll have the production line. And in the third section, we'll have the giant vault. And I literally cannot wait to have all of this finished. So for the first build, I'm going to make a giant elevator that goes down to the hypothetical nether, which is down below. Basically, we're going to pretend that you can go to the nether through this elevator behind me. So let's start by digging an area. This looks like a good size and I have to dig roughly 50 blocks down. So let's get to work. Now I'm on my way to go and grab all the materials for the elevator. Not including all the usual materials you'd expect. I need some crying obsidian, which I can only get by trading with these guys. And right after that, I can start building the elevator. It'd be a cool idea to have the door made out of ancient debris. It adds a nice little expensive touch. The door up top will be from Chisel Blackstone. And let's give it a try. It actually works. Oh my gosh. I don't think the door is supposed to close. I think it's supposed to open. Yeah, I'll need to fix that. Since we have a working elevator, we can work on decorating it. It looks really ugly from up top, but it looks even uglier down below. So let's sort this thing out then. Now, I want to make it seem as if you're going down to the nether. Yeah, that looks so much better here. So down here, I want to have a nether portal leading to the ancient debris mines in the nether. Bada boom, bada boom. Then I'll have the nether bricks fade in here to netherrack. Ugh. 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 Ooh. This is how the tunnel's looking like right now, and it's pretty bland, so I'm gonna add some gold ores, quartz, and then glowstone as well. And we're pretty much done here. As we go down, we get the transition to the nether, and the door opens to the nether portal, which will obviously lead us to all the ancient debris mines in the nether. And then start building the top of the elevator. And this is something that I've never done before, but I actually decorated some banners to make a radioactive sign. Yeah, it just looks cool and scary. So next, we'll technically need a space to store all the ancient debris, which will be right over here. But right before I do that, I want to build giant extraction pipes from the side of the factory to make it seem as if it's sucking the ancient debris out from the ground. So anyways, let's get to building. Oh wow, this is actually going to look so sick. And then from the very bottom, I kind of want to make it seem like the magenta particles are splashing out. Ha, yeah, I think that looks really good. And now I just got to repeat this on a bigger scale on this one and on that one. There we go. That looks really good. And now I just do the same thing on the other side. And this is where I'll put the ancient debris storage. I'll make a golden ring around it because I'm like really rich. Or maybe not, I just ran out of gold. So now I could probably start filling in this ancient debris pile. And there we go. That's the first section finished. Now we could move on to the more difficult stuff in section number two, where we're going to be building the production line. Since here, I'm going to be building giant conveyor belts and a massive super smelter. I'm probably going to run out of space if I was just to build it here. So I'm going to have to dig a giant hole and build it in there. Let's get mining then. the 
basement built out now, and this is where all of the conveyor belts will go. However, before we get to that point, I still need to build out a giant super smelter, which I'll put in this wall here. Yeah, I need to dig out another giant hole. So here's the room for the super smelter. Now I'm going to go and grab all of the materials for it. So I've got some hoppers and powered rails, and now I'm going to need two stacks of furnaces. And now I can start building, and I really do hope that there's enough space for it. So I think now all I have to do is place a hopper minecart here and another one here. So this chest is where the fuel goes. So I'll put coal in here. This is where the things that you want to smelt go. So let's put some ancient debris here. Yes, and everything is being smelted into here. Success. Although let's make this a little bit more presentable now. Before we test this out on a massive scale, I'm going to need a lot more coal. Yeah, I got nothing basically. So I just made it over to my wither farm where I'm going to AFK for a bunch of coal. Now I can start to smelt a bunch of this ancient debris. And there we go, I've got all of the netherite scraps smelted. Now, in order to actually turn the scraps into netherite, I'll need to combine them with gold. Therefore, I'm gonna build some conveyor belts here that are gonna do just that. Big shout out to this YouTuber, because I got a lot of inspiration for the design. Some black concrete for the conveyor belt. Then let's put a pile of ancient debris here, a hopper, and some walls. I want to make it seem as if those walls here are pipes that are going to be connected to the super smelter. And they will smelt this ancient debris into netherite scraps, which are going to come out of this side. And then I'm going to repeat this two more times on this side, and then gold conveyor belts on the other side. Here, I'm going to place a bunch of item frames so that I can put the items inside of them. And in place of these item frames, I'm going to add netherite scraps and also gold ingots. And I'm also going to craft up a bunch of netherite ingots for this and turn into blocks. And then I'll have a giant pile of them over here. Oh, and I also just added an invisible item frame texture pack. And this looks so much cooler. It actually looks like these items are on the conveyor belt now. And just like this, we have a fully functional factory. Going from the resource collection to the resource storage to the actual smelting and making process. And we are almost finished this entire factory. However, we still have the most fun, but also most expensive project yet. The armor collection. Right before we get started, this majestic piece will require a better floor. So let's make the floor a little bit nicer. And there we go. That's the floor done. We can now move on to the section. Let's focus on building the space for the armor to go into. And the block that I think could do the job for that is quartz. Luckily, as I was collecting all the ancient debris in the nether, I was also getting a lot of quartz, which is right above me. But I'm going to craft this into a bunch of quartz blocks. So those blocks will be where the armor stones will be on top of. And I want to have two layers of this. And in total, there'll be 15 different armor stands. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of netherite. And I'm adding all the armor stands now. And the next step will be to equip all of these with the netherite armor. Oh yeah, the expensive part, here it comes. Okay, I've got a bunch of diamonds, netherite scraps, and gold. This honestly feels like such a waste, but it's gonna look amazing though. The next step will be to add armor trims to all of this armor. I'll go on a mission to find six different armor trim templates. I'm gonna have to find brand new 1.20 chunks, and the best way to do that is in the nether. And I'm literally just gonna have to fly about for thousands and thousands of blocks. And I think that those are new chunks right here and i've just found this nether fortress which is interesting because i can find nether trims so i'm looking for chests yep this fortress looks lame i'm gonna go over to that one i found my first chest and hopefully they oh there's two hopefully i can find your armor trim no nope no nope. no nope. no nope. no nope. no nope. no nope. no i'm also gonna try out the bastion if i'm to die in this hardcore world it's literally going to be here okay wish me luck Oh, I found it the first try. Let's go. Okay, I like that. Yeah, that wasn't anywhere near as bad, but I still need the nether fortress. Wow, this is one big nether fortress. Yes, finally. Oh my gosh, this did, totally did not take me 50 years. Now we have completed all the armor trims that we have to get in the nether. Now let's go back to the overworld to explore the rest. And now I will go on a massive search for jungle temples, desert temples, etc, etc. Well, since there's a jungle here, I wonder if I can find a jungle temple. But that doesn't seem like it. It's a very small jungle, this. Oh, a desert temple. Found one. Okay, well, that was an L. Jungle temple! Now, I won't lie, I have literally zero idea how to loot these. I don't know the traps. Ow, I died! No! What a shame. Camus! And a desert temple! Please! Oh. 
Yes, we got it. We got it. Dune armor. Oh, wh I, what? I was literally just clearing out my inventory. Uh, I mean, we might as well go here. No, I hate vexes. Yeah, those things are just way too overpowered. Oh, I found a chest in here. Come on. Oh my god. Those vexes are so annoying. Oh my gosh, we found it. We found it. I'm gone. Another temple. Okay. Ah, yes! Oh, there was two chests in them all along. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of messed up. By the way, in my new texture pack, slime is pink, just like my main color. Yeah, I know. That's very, very cool. Let's just go and find an ocean monument now. All right, let's go and try to kill some of the elder guardians. Did he drop anything? I don't think so. They did damage there. Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to come back to that. Okay, this time I came prepared with a trident. Oh, and I've already got this bad effect. Hello, bro. How you doing? Don't hide. Please. Am I doing something wrong here? Wait, that's it. Oh my gosh, finally. There is no way there's a 20% chance. I've literally killed so many of these guys. Now that we have all of these templates, I can duplicate them. And to duplicate them, I'll need a lot of diamonds. So I went on a giant diamond mining spree. I mean, it's ridiculous, but I got a lot of diamonds now. Okay, so I can duplicate them by placing the trim and then the correspondent block and a bunch of diamonds. And there we are. I literally cannot believe how expensive duplicating those trims are. And there we are, that's 16 different trims. And finally, after all this hard work, I can now apply all the armor trims and the desired resource. Item can't be upgraded this way. Oh, oh, I think that's a false alarm. It says this only applies to diamond equipment. Oh, yes, we did it. Yes, I literally thought I was gonna have to recraft all the armor. And I could put this armor onto here. And oh my gosh, does this look good. Let me just fill in the collection then. I was running out of combination, so I did a little mixed one at the end, and it certainly looks interesting. Walking into this factory, this really is a wow factor. However, what if someone tried to come in and steal all this armor? Yeah, we're gonna need to build a vault here. And for that, I'd like to use beacons and use their beams as lasers. Now, first of all, I wanna have a way to turn it on and off. So I'll do a very quick redstone mechanism to make it work. This is a very super secret lever that no one can ever see. Next thing is to make this look very pretty. And now literally the last steps of this build. And now to officially finish this build. We did it! I'm sorry, but doesn't that just look insane? Especially with shaders on. I mean, this is straight out of a movie. By the way, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. And YouTube thinks that you're gonna like this video next.